In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Welcome to a new episode of our show, uh, Stories. The story of today about uh, a new Samaritan, good Samaritan. He is a young man. He was just going to his uh, uh, exam, German University, GUC, uh, in Cairo. And he was going to his exam with his friends in his car. And of uh, a sudden, they found on the street a man fell and uh, he couldn't breathe. So they ran to him, they tried hard to help him, uh, but the man was in a very bad situation. So his friends said to him, we have to run, we have an exam. And they left and they went to the exam, but uh, no one wanted to help the, that guy. So uh, very quickly, the young man, whom I call Good Samaritan, New Good Samaritan, he took him into his car and ran to the hospital to save uh, his life and he was staying there and he said okay I will fail on this uh, and, and and my exam today but what can I do I can't leave the man it's very bad to leave a person was dying um, before your eyes and he stayed there from the morning till 4 30 p.m. and the doctors were in the hospital trying to save the man they told him that uh, his life uh, after 4 30 the doctor came and said the man you saved his life, you really saved his life because he was uh, in a very bad situation and he got uh, a kind of a cold, in, uh, a blood cold, and it was going to his uh, brain. And if it reached his brain, uh, that means he will be paralyzed the rest of his life. All his life would be like that. So the doctors uh, thank him and the young man went to that guy uh, every day to check on him and see if he's good he needs anything and the man was uh, grateful for what the young man did the result of the exam came out and he failed in one of the uh, subjects and he couldn't get the scholarship which his friends got uh, from the university to go to Germany to study there freely. He was very, very upset. He could be able later to uh, succeed in his study, and he finished, but uh, he couldn't find any job. He tried hard, but he couldn't find any job. And finally, he heard about a, a very big company asking to for um, employees. So he went and he was very sure that he will get it, but actually he couldn't get it. They took somebody else that he, he has, somebody cares about him to get that job. He kept doing that from job to job, uh, trying to find a job, but he couldn't at all. And uh, 22nd of May, 2009, uh, 2010, he was very upset and uh, he, he couldn't find any job until now. And he, he said, uh, what can I do? When he went to his home, he was very upset. He didn't talk to anybody. I tried to talk to him. No one, uh, he answered and he was very, very upset, almost crying. And he didn't know what he can do and what is his future. And he starts saying, Lord, I did something good as your son. I am your son. I did my best to save the man. This is not good to the reward. It's very, really bad. It's not a reward. It's a punishment. So at the end, before he sleeps, it was 7, 7.30 p.m. He got his uh, phone and he wrote on his Facebook, how long, oh Lord, you forget me. And that's it. And uh, he, he felt that God forgot him and he went to, into deep sleep crying at midnight he opened his eyes he couldn't sleep anymore because he has a lot of nightmares and when he woke up he went back to his uh, facebook to see what the people said about what he wrote and he found a very strange thing the one one sending him a message asking about him and he said uh, i'm just checking on you he said this guy i don't know him he's one not one of my friends on facebook and he has no picture so he didn't know him so he wrote to him back and say to him may i know who are you and he said don't you know me uh, samah i am the the one you saved from de death in the street i can't forget you at all and he said to him thank you so much i'm okay but how did you how did you find me me on Facebook, he said, from your phone number, I put your phone number and I could be able to reach you on Facebook. He thanked him and uh, he said to him, 
tell me, my son, why you wrote that God forgot you or forsaken you? He said, because um, I will tell you this, the truth. And he told him all his story. And because of, of he saved his life, he de uh, the, the man's life, he destroyed his own life. So the man was very upset and said to him, don't worry. Do you want, do you want to travel to Germany? He said, I wish. He said, I am an investor in Germany for 38 years and I can help you to get there and work with me there. And he gave him opportunity to travel to Germany. After a while, the man fulfilled his promises and uh, uh, the young man went and he went to Germany. Even his friends were asking, how did you come to Germany? It's very strange. He told them the story about the man that all of them left him and he kept uh, helping him. He is the one who brought him to Germany. He said, I was dreaming just for a few months to, to study in Germany and come back and work in Egypt. Now all my life changed and I became in Germany and a German guy and I became really uh, uh, very successful in my work there, even more uh, than many of other uh, of my friends. I remember the verse saying, and whoever gives one of these little ones only a cup uh, of a cold water, I say to you, uh, he shall by no means lose his reward. In Matthew 10, 22, God will never be in debt to you, my friend. Do anything for his sake and he will reward you. You might not see, see the reward immediately, but it will come one day. Someday God will reward you. And even if it's not here, the reward, the reward will be in heaven. But have faith that whenever you give to the Lord, God will give you 100 times back. May the Lord God be with us all. Amen. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.